A Farmington Hills family that's been through the unthinkable had a special night out at the Tigers game. It's been more than a decade since the Cipriano family was attacked in their home by their adopted son. The attack killed the father and badly injured the mother and son. Jacqueline Francis is live tonight with an update on how the family's doing and the simple joys that could come from a night out at the ballpark. Jacqueline. Kimberly, this was such a special family to meet and a special gesture on behalf of the Detroit Tigers. The Cipriano family has been through a lot of changes over the years, but one constant has been their love for baseball. It's a night out at the ballpark for the Cipriano family. Baseball has been a part of our family like since we were little. Uh, dad was coaching us when we were little, coached baseball. And this just feels more than ever like Dad is with us here today, celebrating how far we've come as a family, uh, how far we've recovered. Back in 2012, the Cipriano's adopted son attacked his family, killing his father and severely injuring his mother. It also left their son, Sal, with a severe brain injury. But tonight, it's not about the past or the struggles. That's our TV booth right up there. Detroit Tigers TV announcer Matt Shepard inviting them onto the field and into the booth. Well, now you're calling the game right there, Sal. You're calling the game. You're doing my job. Showing off some pretty amazing views. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, Sal. What do you think? We're announcing the game over here. In the years since the attack, the Tigers have been a source of joy for the family. Back in August 2017, Sal threw an opening pitch here at the Tigers, right there on the mound. I say it went a little right. I don't think it was a strike, but most other people say it was a pretty good pitch. But uh, yeah, so that was a really exciting time for our family to be here together for that. This time around, they brought a memento to mark the occasion. Painted this, tried to work on it last night together and put it together. And now we have it here on today and we're trying to get as many people to sign it as we can just to kind of remember the day. Sal underwent another surgery in June that came with its own benefits and complications. There is a foundation set up for the family to help them cover these ongoing medical expenses. We put that information on our website, click on Detroit.com. Reporting live downtown, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you.